This is Jim Todd. Welcome to the weekly Song Surgeon video tip. In today's segment, we're going to be talking about audio file quality settings, and specifically, we're going to talk about those settings as you need to choose them or select them from the export button. Because when you go to export a file that you have open, and whether you select the current loop, all loops, or the entire song, it really makes no difference. You end up with the same set of choices. You see a dialog window here that opens on your screen, and then from the drop down menu at the bottom, under Save as Type, you've got a bunch of different audio file formats from WAVs to MP3s to AACs to some other things. And depending upon which one of these you select, you may encounter an intermediate dialog window in which you need to select some additional settings. Now, for example, if you select WAVE, it will just go ahead and save the file with default settings and you have no choice in the matter. But if you select any of these others, it's going to give you one or two different windows. Let's just start with AACs here. Need to give it a name first as if we're going to name it. And we've got AAC selected. We select save. And you'll see this little bit rate window setting open up. And you will see this on all formats with the exception of WAV and with the exception of MP3. So let's briefly talk about this. Kilobits per second, or bitrate setting, uh, is an indicator of quality. And in this case, with this file format, you can choose something from 218 down to 62. What you need to understand about this setting is that the higher the value, the higher the quality, and the larger the file size. And conversely, the smaller the value, the smaller the file, and the lower the quality. So your two extremes are 62 and 218. I would normally recommend something in the middle. Um, you know, in this case, maybe 158, 129. I probably wouldn't go any lower than that because I think, especially for people that are audiophiles, they may begin to hear some differences. But once you get above that, I think that very, very few people are going to be able to hear any differences in quality, and therefore I think you're probably safe to select whichever one of these that you want. But keep in mind, you, you know, if you've got something at 218 and you do something at 103, this file is going to be half the size of this file. We're going to close this and then we're going to select export again and we're going to go to the other one that I want to spend a little more time talking about and those are MP3 files and in MP3 settings. Here again, we give it a name. I'm calling it test for the sake of simplicity. And when we do that, the dialog window that opens is a little different looking, and that's because we're actually using the internal codecs found in the Windows operating system to process this file. And the codec, of course, is an MPEG layer 3 or MP3. And what you see from Windows is a whole long variety of different selections here, and we need to talk about that a little bit. Because not only do you have this whole bitrate thing again, and you can see that here we've got 320, so the bitrate setting for, for an MP3 is a little higher at the top end, and at the bottom end you can go clear down here to 18, so it goes a lot lower. So you still have that issue. And with regard to MP3 settings, what I typically recommend for most people is that they choose, again, something in the middle, which for MP3s I like 192. Um, you could go a little lower than that. You can go 160, probably be fine. I certainly would not go any lower than 128. So the same rule applies here as it did on the other formats where we looked at it, that the higher the bitrate setting, the larger the file size, and the higher the quality. The smaller the bitrate setting, the smaller the file size, and the lower the quality. The other setting is what's called the hertz setting or the frequency setting. And this is critical, actually, when you export because you need to select the same hertz or frequency setting that you have for the song that's open. How can you tell what it is for the song that's open? Well, if you go up here to the top of Song Surgeon, where the song is open, you can see it says it's 192 kilobits per second, and the frequency rate is 44.1. Now, what you need to also know, or you should know, is that 95, 98% of all the files that you open probably will be 44.1, unless you're working in some specialty field, because 44.1 is the standard sort of default setting for digital files. So most files are going to be 44.1, and you need to select 44.1 if your file is a 44.1. Because if your file is not a 44.1, and you select something else, 
it's going to cause problems on export. And when you open it up, you're going to hear those problems. Your file might be too long. It might be too short. The audio might be distorted. It can cause a number of different problems. So really, the, the only thing you need to understand is that you look up here. Whatever it says the frequency rate is, is what you select. So in this case, my default setting is 192 and 44.1. I select that. I go ahead and click OK, and it exports the file, and I'm done. And that's really all you need to remember. So the next time you do an export, and if you select MP3s, just remember that whatever you select here, outside of the bit rate, when you get to the frequency, this middle number here sort of needs to be the same thing that you have up here. Um, and as I said before, 98% of the time it's probably going to be 441. But if you work in a specialty field, for instance, old radio, if you've got old radio files, they could be something down as low as, as 8 hertz. Um, so there are some specialty fields in which you may encounter other things. And if you're one of those, you just need to remember to select that. And similarly, some of the higher quality equipment today for recording, they're using actually things that are higher than 44.1. They're using 48 and in some cases actually even 96. So you may indeed also need to select some other settings. But again, the majority of the cases, it's going to be 44.1. So that will conclude today's video tip. Thanks.